Okay, I'm working on today is a 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan, similar to the Chrysler Town & Country. What happens is, you can have the blower on and it does not start. Five minutes in, it'll start working. Hopefully the camera can pick this up. That was the motor for the recirculation door. Since the blower is controlled through the computer, if that's not working properly, it doesn't know that it should turn on even though you have your controls on. So it is behind your cabin air filter here. We're going to take that out. And what I'm going to do, instead of taking the dash apart to replace that, I am going to run a jumper wire off a relay that will be controlled when the key is off you can just turn the fan on it'll run on high only but everything else should work I'd like to say uh, thank you to Royal Auto Service for pointing me in the right direction on this one here And the cabin air filter is needing a replacement. Okay, where I'm going to mount that switch is right here in this little cubby underneath the controls here. To access that, there are two of these push pins with a Phillips type screw on there. Simply back out the little Phillips screw there, and if you have a panel removing tool, that's helpful. Otherwise, just stick a screwdriver behind there and pop them out. And okay, those push pins removed on the driver's side as well. Go ahead, pull this cover off here. With this pulled out, we'll go and remove these two screws. This little cubby will come out. We can drill a hole in the back for the wires. Okay, needed to run a wire into the engine compartment. So what I did is up where the hood release is, I stuck a little pick in there, moved the grommet over, then shoved this blue wire through it. Okay, I'm in the engine compartment fuse box here. And what I need to do is find a circuit that will turn off with the key so in case you have your blower turned on it won't drain your battery and here's my test light lighting up and what we have here okay what I found the key on this one right here I'll turn the key off Okay, I have the key off, and there's no power to this one. So this one is switched with the key, so what we'll do is pull this fuse out and put a, a fuse tap on there so we can put uh, a circuit that will trigger our relay with the key. Okay, I have my fuse tap here. The original fuse goes closest to these prongs here, and then this is our jumper fuse. So we can go and put that in there. I did etch this out a little bit so the wire will fit through there and not get caught on the, the uh, cover. And then we'll just slide it out here. Okay. Got a hole drilled into the back of the little cubby. Got a wire coming down here. Just simply unsnap this side panel here. And this is where I'm going to run the ground. Simply going to snap this back in. Okay, underneath the glove box here, there's two plugs that plug into the blower motor resistor. We want the gray ones. 
I just unplugged up both to give us a little more room and on the end of the wires I'm going to put a spade connector to plug into there and then I'll plug the black one back in. Okay I got my spade terminals on there. I will plug them into the gray connector there and plug the black one back into the blower motor resistor. Not sure which one is the ground and which one is the positive but if the blower is turning in the wrong direction I'll just switch them around. Okay, put my wires through the little bin there. Go ahead push that back in. Secure it with those two little uh, screws and then we'll hook our switch up. Okay, got that bolted in. Just push our trim back here and then we'll go and put those push pins back in. Okay, we'll take, push a push pin in then uh, put our little screw in there. Okay, put my little connectors on here and I'll crimp them down and put our switch in. Okay, I have my little switch here. There is an odd colored one that is for the little LED. Not going to hook that up, but if you needed to, you could power that up. Snap these on here. Put that in there. Okay, so what we're doing here is this relay will trigger and then close the circuit and then send power to the blower motor. So what we're going to do, we already have our trigger wire fused here with the uh, fuse tap and that will go into slot 85 which is this white one here. You can get by with a four prong relay. We're just not going to use the center one. And then our out feed, we're going to have an inline fuse that goes into the car for the uh, blower motor. Okay, pin 86 is our ground. Uh, they were kind enough to leave some studs on the battery terminals, so I'm going to go ahead and put a shrink wrap solder connector on here go ahead and heat that up and on our fuse tap I have some shrink tube. I'll go ahead and redo that one. So pin 87 is our blue wire going to the blower motor. And now the last one to hook up is number 30. And we have to put a fuse in there because there's no fuse. We got a fuse coming to the trigger off of their fuse tap. So I'm putting a 30 amp fuse in there. I believe the blower draws about 20 5 to uh, 28 amps so we'll go ahead and hook this up and then uh, hook it to the battery post here on the positive okay Let's pop our relay in here we'll go test it out off open the door and shuts the fan off you know I didn't show taking the glove box down there are two hooks that 
there and to pull it down, pull these two things in. There is this little teardrop thing. It just slides into this slot here and that keeps it from, from uh, slamming down on your legs.